Hello, I'm Matt Cameron, and welcome to Lab's first ever Benefits Overview Highlight Video. Um, we're going to go over a lot of great information about this year's benefits. Obviously, open enrollment starts this coming Wednesday, April 3rd, and it will run through Monday, May 1st. This is that one time a year where you can review all of your benefit selections and make any changes you would like. Um, we're going to go over a lot of really great benefits, so let's jump into it. This year was obviously our first year as our own central office for finance and HR. And so we had four different sessions uh, for finance and HR related topics spread out across the two professional days that we had earlier in the year. And common themes that we heard during every session was that staff want and we believe deserve better benefits. Um, at the same time, you want and we think you deserve to pay less for those benefits and also you really don't like paying fees for the benefits. Um, could not agree with these three bullet points anymore. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through a lot of topics um, related to these and we will get started. You can also follow along with all of these slides. They are attached to this video uh, in case you want to look closer. Great. So after those professional days and before we knew that open enrollment was going to start, we met with our benefits broker and we said, we want bigger and better benefits that gets more money into our staff's paychecks. So they, they brought us all these options that we're about to go over. And so we want to present them to you. So health insurance, as you know, we are in the GIC. There are really no changes to this. Um, you have a document that you can look through of your GIC benefits also attached to this email. And the one highlight I wanted to make for this was that always is not a new vendor. It is actually just a rebranded version of neighborhood health plan. Um, so that is the only difference for health insurance. For dental, we have a couple changes that we wanted to highlight in this. Um, going back to a slide two, where we sort of highlighted why we're making these changes, things that came up that were really important to staff was, uh, first one was orthodontia. Staff are saying that they would really like to have that coverage. Uh, we haven't had it in the past. So when we met with our brokers, we said we want only options that have orthodontia included. So they delivered. And so we have, are offering orthodontia under this new plan. Uh, it is for all members. So that's whether it's uh, your child or for yourself. As a staff member, you can also get the orthodontia coverage, which we thought was great. Even adding this benefit of orthodontia, the prices are staying relatively the same. Um, and are also locked in for two years, which is great because you can sort of plan ahead based on what your needs are. Another huge thing that we wanted to point out was the idea of max rollover. Max rollover just means that from the $1,000 of annual coverage that you get, if you don't use all of it in a given year, you can roll over up to $350 for the next year, which can come in handy if you have a year where you're, you're having more dental work performed than, than other years. So. Definitely keep an eye open for this. We have basic life. Basic life right now is through MetLife, and the current policy is a $5,000 life insurance policy um, where you pay half and lab pays half. Uh, the monthly charge is 82 cents. We're actually switching it to a company called The Standard. Because we went to them, uh, we were able to package a couple different benefits, which you'll see in the next couple slides. And by packaging them together, we were able to get such competitive pricing that you were paying 82 cents a month for your $5,000 policy with MetLife. We've now changed it. So your coverage is now 15,000 of a life insurance policy. And still the cost is just under what it, what it has been. One big change we wanted to also point out is that basic life was the only benefit that was deducted once per month, starting July 3rd, which is your first paycheck in July. We're going to deduct your basic life premium of 35 cents from every paycheck. Uh, so that will be a change and we wanted to make you aware of that. Voluntary life insurance. Again, this was one that we packaged together with the standard to get more competitive pricing for you. Um, the only change here, the prices are the exact same, so there's no price change. Uh, the big change was that the child life insurance policy instead of expiring at age 21, will now expire at age 26, along with all of their other benefits. And again, that's also a three-year price lock, so the price will not change for your 
voluntary life insurance for three years. Um, the policy is based on your amount and your age, so keep that in mind as you're going through the enrollment forms on how much you want to purchase in voluntary life insurance. Long-term disability. Now this is a big one. Uh, Long-term disability pays you if you're ever out of work for six months or longer. And so a big thing, a big change here is that rehabilitation services, which would re require you to attend, um, whether it's physical therapy, occupational therapy, any kind of uh, therapy that the insurance company thought would speed up your recovery process. Under the current plan with the Hartford, it was mandatory that you go to those services, otherwise your, your payments would be terminated. Under the standard, it's completely voluntary. So if you would like to go, great. If you don't want to go, nothing will happen to your benefits. Um, this one is also based on your age and your salary as of when the plan starts, which for all of our benefits is July 1st. But by packaging the basic life, the voluntary, and the long-term disability together with one vendor, we were able to get such competitive pricing on this. So the standards rates for the same amount of coverage is about half. Um, and for those of you in your 40s or 50s, the benefit is actually a third the cost. So if, you're, if you have long-term disability right now and you're paying, let's just say, $150 a month to the Hartford, you're now going to pay only $50 per month to the standard. That's awesome. Um, and again, the prices are also locked in for three years, which is great. It can really help you plan ahead. I know that there are some of you who terminated your coverage in July when some premiums were adjusted based on your, your salaries and, and ages. So this is the perfect time for you to reconsider uh, joining long-term disability. And as a new client, uh, they have done a one-time only waiver where if you have ever declined or canceled your long-term disability in the past with another provider, you will be able to join the standard without a medical exam. Now this is huge because most providers, if you're someone who's new to their plan, will require a medical exam before the plan takes effect to make sure there are no pre-existing conditions. So they have waived this for this year only. So if you have had or have always considered um, long-term disability, this would be the year for you to do it to avoid any medical exam uh, needs. So keep that in mind as you're going through your benefits. Great idea. Flexible spending. This is another one that really, really came to mind when people were, were talking during the professional days about things that they, they were missing or wanted improvements on for their benefits. So with flexible spending, uh, the annual max for health-related expenses is 2700 for 2019, and it is 5000 if for dependent care if filing jointly. Uh, if you're filing separately or a single parent, it's only $2,500. Per year max, um, flexible spending is for health and dental related expenses, medical related. So uh, it could be things like co-pays and prescriptions that aren't covered by your, your insurance. Uh, dependent care is for child care. Um, so keep that in mind as you're sort of going through if you if you currently have or are consider, have ever wondered about a flexible spending account. This year might be the year for you. Um, with our new provider. Uh, we're switching from benefit strategies to a company called PayFlex. Um, you will also have great forms coming out to you um, attached to this, this uh, video. This new vendor charges no fees for your initial debit card that you can use for your flex spending account, and it charges no fees for your replacement. In the past, you were paying $5 for every single card. Um, under benefit strategies, there was also a monthly membership fee where if you had a flexible spending account, you would pay $5 per month for just having a flexible spending account. If you had flexible spending and a dependent care, you'd be paying almost $10 a month just in fees. That seems outrageous to us um, and was also echoed in feedback through our professional days. So we are now covering lab is going to cover all of the fees. So you will no longer pay any monthly fees for your account. Um, this will save you anywhere from $60 to $120, uh, depending on whether you have flexible spending or flexible spending and dependent care. So this is awesome. Uh, the pricing is all locked in. Uh, the only thing that will change every year is the IRS gives us the annual max. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. Uh, each year we'll notify you if it increases. 
Um, but definitely consider it as you're going through your benefits. So these next two slides are just visuals um, to sort of illustrate what your potential savings could be um, given the benefits that you have as an individual with our current providers and what it would be with our new providers. Um, I mean, this one is the biggest one, long-term disability. If you were making a, if you were making a $50,000 salary and you were 40 years old, you'd be paying $519 per paycheck to the Hartford. For that same benefit with the standard, you're now going to pay $1.85 per paycheck. So you're going to save $87 just on the long-term disability. Um, so as an individual, if you have all of these benefits, you would save $157. And as a family, with the dependent care added, you're going to save extra money on the fees. So you would save $185. Now, these are just for illustration. They do assume that you are in every single benefit. Um, so definitely look through each of them individually as you're going through and making your decisions. Um, we wanna make, have, make sure that you make the best decision for you and your family. So, given all this information, what now? Well, we really think that that's, e that's easy. Maria and I are here to help you with any questions that you may have, whether it's about which one do I, which one should I take, I need this, I need that, I'm considering fees, what form do I need? Um, the forms will all be attached to this email, but if you ever misplace it, just give us a call um, or log into your employee portal. All of these forms will be added to the employee portal uh, on Harper's uh, and also added to the lab staff forms page on our website. Um, so there's three different places that you can reach out to, um, but do not hesitate to contact Maria or I. We'll be happy to help you through this whole process. Once you have an idea of what you want to pick um, for your benefits, uh, if there are any changes, you would do, fill out the open enrollment forms. You're going to have a form here. It is called your benefit summary decision. And this will sort of walk you through what each benefit is, if you're going to make changes, what are the steps you need to take. If you're not going to make any changes, you do nothing and you just enjoy. Um, that will be attached again to this email so that you have all the information you need. Um, the third one is Obviously, on these last two slides, I showed you the potential savings that you could have based on what benefits you opt, opt, opt into. Um, so, one thing I wanted to highlight that also came up during our uh, professional days was the idea of a 403B account. Some of you may have one right now, some of you may not. Uh, if you do have one, you could also consider increasing your contribution with the savings uh, that you're going to see on your benefits. Um, there are so many options for you. And so, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we give you all the information that you can make a really well thought out uh, decision because it is one that you will have to keep for at least a year until the next open enrollment. So please, please, please reach out to us. Um, again, Maria Walsh or myself, uh, and we will be happy to answer any questions and walk you through the whole process. Thank you so much and have a great weekend.